Hello, Electro Jeweler Jordan here, and today we are going to build a speed filter using easy to get materials and tools that you probably already have. I'm going to be making the filter from these two nesting containers, and this is my electroforming tank. The outer filter container should fit snugly into the top of your electroform tank, but still have room for air to escape. Otherwise, the electroform solution will not flow through the filter, and the inner container will fit into the outer container holding the filter material in place. I'm using one micron filter bag material. Now let's cut it into shape. A lot of you already use this for anode bags, and it can be purchased for under $10 from Amazon or eBay. They can also be found in pet shops and hardware stores. The outer container is tapered. I trace the top opening and cut it out a few mm larger than the top opening. This extra material is important as it will seal the gap between the two containers, enabling the solution to flow through the one micron filter material without leaking. First, test the fit by placing the filter material on the inner container like this and slide the outer container over the inner container. It should be a snug fit. Trim if needed. Perfect fit. Next step. Cut out the bottom leaving the ledge for the filter material to rest on. I'll use this line as a guide. There are a lot of ways to cut plastic. This way with a regular 2mm drill bit works really well and is super easy to get. I'm using my flex shaft and you can also use a drill. It cuts super fast and fairly neatly. Drill a starter hole. Insert the 2mm drill bit and guide the drill where you want it to cut out. Don't use excessive force as you can break the bit. Other size bits can be used but are more difficult to control. If you have a Dremel or micromotor that has a 2.3 mm collet, you can use a diamond bit. It will cut very well, but go slowly or you'll get melted plastic on the bit. Clean the bit off like this. Hey, please like, subscribe, and say hi in the comments below. The bottom is removed. It's a little bit raggedy. You don't have to do these next steps, but I'm gonna file and clean it with an X-Acto knife. It just makes for a nicer end product. Now I'm gonna do the fit check. Excellent. Now let's cut the inner container. Okay, I traced the outline with a divider. You could also do this freehand. Then I cut the inside filter container, leaving more room around the edges than before. This will ensure a good seal for the filter. A little cleanup and... Now let's fit everything together. Inner container upside down, filter on top, shiny side up, slide on the outer container, and we are good to go. Nice. Here's my electroform tank. Notice that it needs a top up, but don't fill it up until after you filter. I have an anode cage and instead of pulling it out and leaking anode gunk all over the tank, I'm going to pour the electroform electrolyte into another container and then rinse the cage and the tank out. If you are super efficient, you can even have an identical tank to filter it into and save yourself a step. Fancy. Fully assemble, check for a good fit and pour. And wow, so fast, so fast. Now that it's filtered, you can do it again if you wish, or rinse it out. Remember that we needed a top-up? I'll rinse out the filter and top-up at the same time. Rinse until you're topped up, and when you're done, you can rinse out the filter and containers under the tap, and then rinse the filter and distilled water to be used another day. And remember, keep on plating and creating. 